Okay, I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial for making a pocket letter, which you may have seen already, but this is one for a five-year-old, so it's not going to be as fancy as some of the ones you've seen, but um, I have a ton of scraps and things, <laughs> and um, my dog has just come up here, and um, so this is a great way to use them up, so I keep them in here, and they're just like remnants of old scrapbooks and things like that that I've made or cards, so you can buy these nine pocket baseball cards. Um, at the, uh, like I got mine off of Amazon, but you can get them at the craft store, you can get them at a baseball card store, um, and they just have, sometimes they have double-sided pockets, um, I just have, mine just has one side, and so what I've done is, um, I've bought just a bunch of supplies, so when you do this, a lot of times people do this for their crafting friends, um, you can just put a lot of your, just little pieces of your, um, crafting supplies inside of them, so you can share your stash and, like, share, share washing and stuff, but in this case, I'm making it for a five-year-old, and so, um, what I've done while I'm putting these in, I'll tell you about it, um, I've cut these down to two and a half by three and a half inch squares, and, um, so what I did was I did kind of, um, a collection of some of my scraps, and some of my little doodads, but also just some things that I got at those little bins for 25 cents, 40 cents at Party City. And um, so that she's kind of a collection of crafting supplies and some um, some just little toys and stuff. So usually I make her card if I can. And you see I made this little middle one, so it's personalized. And usually I make her a card, but what she does, because she's a very curious child, is she actually peels it apart <laughs> and then plays with all the pieces. So if I put rhinestones on it, she's going to pull those off. Um, if I glue it, if I glue one piece of paper to another piece of paper, um, she is going to pull those apart too and play with the glue. So I've just started making her these pocket letters for holidays. And uh, go ahead and send her the pieces. And like last time, I went up to visit her and I sent her the pieces in a pocket letter and some little photos so that she could make her own little album. So in this case, I was thinking she can make her own little Valentine. So I have kind of a eclectic mix of stuff here. Um, one thing I got, it almost doesn't fit, but it does, is this little uh, little coloring book. Again, I think it was 25. It was nothing with more than 40 cents. And so I am going to slip that into one of these pockets. I'm trying to decide if I should put it in the front or the back. I think I'll put it in the front. I don't think she'll care that it kind of ruins my color scheme. Um, she's not really that picky. So you see it just, and I thought about cutting it down, but I was like, nah, it's fine. So I have a little coloring book there. Um, I also got this little, um, this little scrap pad. It's like, it says for phone numbers, but I don't think she'll be calling any of her friends anytime soon. But knowing the way things are going these day and age, maybe she will be. Okay, so I got these little erasers, and um, these were probably the most expensive thing, though they weren't that pricey. I left one in a package just so you could see what you're looking for. And these are just in their, like, favor aisle where you can buy individual favors. And um, so these were, like, 40 cents each, I know. Um, she's not really into characters, but they still were cute, even though it's mini and, and a heart. I thought the colors were, were correct. Um, okay, so the other thing I did, and I know a lot of people have done this, but just in case you don't know about it, I took some of my washi from my washi stash, and I wrapped them around these Yarnology tags. I got it for half off, so it was 50 cents for 25 cents, makes them 2 cents each. And then I just took some of my washi and wrapped it around so that she has some washi to play with. So I will put that here. Um, I had this little bow that I put on her card, and I just took some more twine, and I'm going to stick it behind there. Uh, trust me, she'll discover it there. Have some little flowers, little foam flowers that have sticky backs. I'll uh, do this one. So she'll be able to, like I said, who knows what that child will create. Um, she's pretty clever, and if you're worried about them falling off, you can take a piece of washi. And I might do that for some of them and um, close it at the top so they don't fall out. I also have some of these little rhinestone hearts. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. And um, she was actually with me when I got them. But a little package of 32, I think. And I've, it's the second time I've used these for her. So my dog is up here helping. She likes to take my wash and eat it. So. Here's a little rainstone hearts. And like I said, I'll probably steal that off. And then I had this little lip gloss that I thought was really cute. Of 
right here. And it's kind of flat, so it's going to fit in there nicely. Um, you can also take, look how cute that is, it pops open. You can also take um, little candies or something in there. Um, she's allergic to nuts, and so her mom's real particular, as she should be about candies that she eats. But the one thing she's allowed to have are Twizzlers, which she calls Snappies. So I'm going to tuck these inside of them. So I have one more pocket, and I probably I might just stick some glitter in there or something. And um, she will love some glitter. And um, her mom will hate me for it, but that's okay. We've been friends long enough that she can get over it. Oh, look. Alrighty. Just sprinkle a little glitter in there for her to play with. Woo! Looks like I'm going to get to play with that glitter later, too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, let's scoop it in. See, I'm the, I'm the good godmother because I send stuff like this, even though it'll make Reagan crazy, her mama. Okay, so once I wipe this all up, um, like I said, I'm going to go and seal some of these off with, I'll show you how, with this one, with some washi. And I'll probably use some different colors. Like this. And then, look, here's the awesome thing. So you fold it up, just like this, and it fits inside of a regular mailing envelope. And then I said, like I said, I'm going to tuck some Twizzlers inside. And there you have it. There's our little Valentine ready to ship. And you could go and fill the backsides too if you want. Um, I might at least put some scrapbook paper in there so it's not plain white but ready to go and um ready for her to play with and drive her mama just a little bit crazy